Hi, I'm Jack Grave, and in the next few minutes, I'd like to show you how I took myself from being able to last only 10 seconds in bed to having full control over my orgasms and being able to last over 30 minutes in bed consistently. And I'd like to show you how making this change literally transformed my sex life, made me able to give my girlfriend the best and most intensely pleasurable sex she's ever had, and how I now have her begging me for sex instead of the other way around. Now I'm really excited to be sharing this with you because what I did to gain control over my orgasms, give my lover the most intense orgasms of her life and ultimately get her to love having sex with me doesn't just work for me, it works for virtually any man including you. In fact it works regardless of how short you last right now, whether you're a single in a relationship or married, how old you are, how old she is, where you're from, how big you are down there and regardless of what your woman does or has been like in bed in the past. And I'll actually prove this to you with examples of other men who've used my approach successfully in just a minute. But first, I want to give you a quick heads up. This video will not be online forever. I haven't decided exactly when I'm going to take this down yet, but all I'm saying is don't blame me if you come back to this site tomorrow and the video's not up. If you want to learn what allowed me to last long in bed, then watch this video now. And uh, don't say I didn't warn you if you leave the video and don't get the chance to watch it later. The other thing I want you to know is that a lot of what I've got to share with you are methods, techniques and approaches to sex that I personally discovered. Many of these techniques I haven't seen anywhere else. So take any ideas you've read about in men's magazines, on so-called expert websites or other sex guides and forget about them. The techniques I'm going to share with you are fresh, new and guess what? They actually work. Plus, unlike many other techniques you've probably come across, they don't make sex less fun and they don't require you to do any weird stuff or wear special condoms, apply a strange cream, take pills or use complex gadgets. What worked for me and the other men I've since taught this to is 100% natural. Now, since you're watching this video, you probably already realise that it's pretty important as a guy to be able to last long in bed, but what you might not realise is just how important it really is. Before I get into exactly what I and many other men do to have complete control over our orgasms, I want to share an interesting fact with you, and that fact is this. A study carried out at Brown University found that during foreplay and sex, women take on average now of course there are exceptions to this, but on average 15 minutes to reach orgasm. Now what it doesn't take a researcher to figure out is if you can't last at least 15 minutes during sex then you've got a problem. If you can't last 15 minutes minimum then the chances are that most of the time you're physically unable to bring your lover to orgasm during sex and truly satisfy her. Sure you might be able to bring her to orgasm through oral sex or fingering but is it really the same? I've personally found, and I'm sure you know this intuitively too, that no level of sexual satisfaction in a woman can be compared to having her experience an orgasm through sex. So not being able to give your lover an orgasm during sex is obviously not a great situation to be in as a guy. But unfortunately, that's not the worst of it. Do you want to know what's even scarier than the fact that most men can't last long enough to satisfy their lover? Guess what, according to multiple studies, is the number one reason for relationship breakups and divorce. Infidelity. In other words, the, the most common reason for a relationship ending is having your lover cheat on you and have sex with someone else. And why do you think people have sex with someone outside of their current relationship? It's because they're not satisfied by their current partner. Why else would someone put themselves through all the pain, guilt and shame that they know will come from cheating. The only reason can be because they're not being satisfied in their current relationship. 